Talk is cheap, unless you have unwittingly signed on to a cell phone plan that turns every bill opening into a monthly chest grabber. And it'll probably even make you grumpier when one ex-phone company employee points out the fact that $52 billion of what we all spend on cellular communication is unnecessary waste. But he also has a few insider tips that could save you some serious coin. Here's ABC's Paula Ferris for our series, Easy Money. All right, Daddy, gotta go. Love you. Babes, I love you too. I'll see you soon. Phil Barry doesn't see his two young daughters nearly enough. The divorced dad splits their time with his ex, so they told us cell phones are the next best thing. Eva, <laughs> are you gonna hug me like you normally do? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right, Dad. Wow. Love you too, Dad. So who here has a cell phone? Phil is paying for three phones, including his mom and oldest daughter, Reagan. How much is your bill? It could go a couple dollars either way, but it's $311 right now. $311 a month? Yeah. Do you think you're paying too much? It's rough, you know, I mean, I think about what, what you know, most people pay for their cars, and um, that's what I pay for my cell phone bill. A bill that's weighed down by the extras, like texting and data. How much are you Instagramming? Every two hours. I'm on Every two Just hours? Looking. And Grandma, you look like you're probably feverishly texting all the time, right? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> But his mobile plan ensures that moments like this oh, Lord. can happen. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Great job, Ava. So you live far away from your dad, so yeah. how important is that for you? It's really important because sometimes I have bad days, and then usually he's the one that I call, and we, go we goof around a lot on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to cut down Phil's cost without yes. cutting down on his family time. When I see this bill, I'm not happy about it. Enter our insider, Todd Dunphy, who's spilling the secrets of his former life. For years, Dunphy worked at Verizon, but he left to co-found SaveLoveGive.com, helping families wipe out what he calls wireless waste. When we looked at the U.S., there's about $52 billion in waste. So we sat down at the kitchen table and put Phil's bill to the test, instantly finding tons of overspending. It's so hard to pay attention to every little detail. So here's how Phil can shrink his bill. Tip number one, let free websites figure it out for you. On Todd's site, you can make sure your plan is a perfect fit. All you have to do is plug in your phone number. We go out and grab your bill. We look at all the usage, all the charges, and then we compare it to what's available. Phil was buying eight gigabytes of data a month, but only using two and a half. And by bundling talking and texting in one new plan, he could save big. Look at Phil's face, finding out he could be saving nearly $1,200 a year. Holy mamma jamma. Tip number two, look for sneaky charges. Things like horoscope texts, roadside assistance, and 411. This is an interesting charge for $2. Those tiny charges can be added to your bill by third-party companies without your knowledge. On average, it's over $5 a month. Tip number three, get your discount. Many companies work with cell phone carriers to get their employees discounts. Teachers, government workers, even students qualify. But the key, you have to ask for it. But now his company is bought by IBM. They have a 23, 24, 25 percent discount. That's $200 a year simply by typing in his work email address on his carrier's website. Tip number four, avoid unnecessary fees. Todd says any fee, especially those for activation and termination, are negotiable. You have to say I've been with you for four years, I've spent six grand. Do you really want to hit me with 35 bucks? And by the way, a loophole to avoid early termination fees. Carriers will let you out of your contract if you lose your job or live where you don't have coverage. And finally, did you know you can change your plan without renewing your contract? Those rules stopped a long time ago. Changing the plan up or down and moving it, it doesn't trigger those contract changes anymore. But, but again, that's, to. yes. Now all that's left for Phil is switching plans, either online, over the phone, James. or in the store. Hey, James, Phil. Nice, nice, to, meet you. You. nice to meet you, Phil. How Watch you? Phil put our right, tips to the test. And now that's not going to extend my contract or anything else, No, nope, right? it won't extend your contract with AT&T. But it will put $1,368 back in Phil's pocket this year. Well, there are two ways that you can get to FaceTime. For Nightline, I'm Paula Ferris in Marshfield, Massachusetts.